New Orleans, the Big Easy. That's the site for the Spurs. For the Pelicans, kind of a seesaw affair over the last 10 games. But this team feels they are better than a 500 team. They look to tip that balance with a win here. Spurs, Pelicans. We'll be right back after this. Welcome, maybe the best day of the NBA, Thursday night, and we're happy you could be here with us. With Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll be hearing from David Aldridge on the sideline. And checking out some numbers for C.J. McCollum. And guys, how about the surge of offense he's experiencing right now? These last five games, he's been a machine at the offensive end. A different score than he had been earlier in the season. We'll find out if he can keep it going here tonight. And the starting group for the Spurs. They've got Wembenyama. And it's Champagny in at the three. And for New Orleans. In the backcourt, it's McCollum and Jones. Underneath, in the post, it's Williamson and Valanciunas. Well, great. both of these teams love to push the pace. Think we're in for a high-speed game? That's a safe assumption, yeah. I mean, but that'll also make this a serious test of stamina. It'll be hard for them to outrun each other all night long. And it's going to be the Spurs off the tip. Here's Osman. Rem Benyama, a screen on Williamson. Pass to Champagny. Spurs passing it around. Shot clock at six. Here's the three. And Jones pulls it down. Pass to Valanciunas. McCollum kicks to Jones. Jones against McCollum. Passes it to Valanciunas. And stolen by Wembenyama. And stolen by Williamson. First quarter of play, one minute played. Outside, Jones. Williamson looking it over. From downtown, nailed from three-point land. And we hear Zion three. When it goes in, you just you just take it. It's like found money in the couch. The pass to Champagny. Now Wembenyama. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for it. And so it's Williamson who brings up the ball for New Orleans. Last game matched up with the Magic. Tough loss there. Uh, in the NBA, you've got to keep pace. It's a fast track out there. And I thought their lack of hustle defensively was the story of the game. Well, you can't allow any opponent to shoot that kind of percentage. If you do, it's just going to be so tough to keep up. And Benyama gets the bucket. And this is what you want to see. Mumbinyama attacking with authority inside. You know, here we are, Greg, looking at Victor Wembenyama. I mean, <laughs> can he get any taller? Wow. <laughs> well, he's already seven foot four, Kevin. But yes, what's amazing is that I still think he's grown, which is scary for the rest of the league. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Victor Wembenyama, first personal foul. Shot. 
That free throw good from Williamson. And with Tim Duncan and David Robinson, Greg, the legendary Spurs big man of days gone by, does that, do you think, add pressure for Victor Wembanyama? Maybe a bit, but he also has the resources of the same great organization behind him, and that's what'll help. Now here's Jones. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. Fade away. San Antonio with the rebound. Last time they met was in San Antonio. And turnovers were the story for them when they saw each other last. I mean, just a heartbreaking way to lose the game. Still searching out their offensive game right now. One of five from the field to start this one. Alan June is inside. Defended by Wembenyama. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure he puts on the shooter. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. So it's the Spurs now. Jonas Valanciunas is able to get his shot to go. And Ben Yama, no good. Yeah, that miss might stick with him for a little while. That's kind of a shoot-around jumper if I've ever seen one. Williamson with a screen for McCollum. Out left to the wing. From deep, the rebound by Victor Wembenyama. Wembenyama has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Jones against McCollum. 11 feet away, and Valanciunas pulls it down. Pelicans leading by four. McCollum passes to Williamson. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. And, of course, always keeping an eye on the top rookies in the league. We get a chance to see the first-year players with the most steals this season. Victor Wembenyama, number one. Just great hands, guys. You can never relax when he's guarding you. And that's such a valuable quality. He's got his opponents on notice. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Wembenyama has got his second basket of the game. Oh, great decision there. Get it to Wembenyama and let Victor finish as the roller. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. five games left on the season. Let's quickly take a look at how the playoff field is stacking up out west. Look at New Orleans. They're trying to get in the playoffs here. If they stay the course, they will. And of course, San Antonio. Quite a few spots down the ladder right now. And you know, for the Pelicans, they've fulfilled a lot of the promise they showed coming into the season. But they just haven't taken that next leap forward. So many thought they might. They still had enough players take positive steps forward to call this season a success. Maybe they're not at the top of the standings where they hoped they'd be, but they're in really good position in terms of the playoff picture. Now here's McCollum. He had a 36-point outing in the last game against Orlando. And he also controlled the boards. He just seemed to be in the right position every time the ball came off the rim. Three of four to start. Young fella came to play. Pass to Branham. Outside, Jones. Pass to Wembenyama. Over Williamson. And there's Wembenyama on the assist by Jones. Zero hesitation from Wemby. Coming into the league, just trusting his jump shot. Alan Junis finds Williamson. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. But has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now here's Jones. He's coming off a 10-point game against Denver. And guys, what impressed me most was his passing. He constantly looked for the open man and found guys in great spots. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Passes it to Williamson. Cuts it five. The rebound by Victor Wembenyama. Wembenyama's got rebound number five here tonight. 
shot by Champagny, no good. And so McComb will bring it up for New Orleans. And there's the pass to Valanciunas. Wembenyama with the rebound. Wembenyama has got six rebounds in the game. Jones kicks to Osman. Back to Jones. Wembenyama, a screen on McCollum. That gives them the lead. Jones has got five. And, and no matter who it is, that kind of D isn't going to get it done. Jones against McCollum. Inside. Pass to Williamson. The three. Good on the three-point shot. 13 points in the game. Have to admire the competitive mindset. Williamson proving he's up for the task, delivering the payback three there. Here's Osman. He's coming off a 10-point game against Denver. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Osman's got the game tied up here for the Spurs. New Orleans has gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Williamson outside. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. He doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. These guys have been so quick off the dribble, finding great lanes to attack and getting themselves to the basket. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. So this is the first of two games, Greg, that these teams will play in a row, one after the other. Very tough. And, you know, Kevin, I find these little mini-series really interesting. That You get to see how teams react to one another and see how they adjust, much like you do in the postseason. The Pelicans have gone 6 of 13 from the field, just under the 50% mark. McCollum feeling it out a bit. Fires the three. And he's still waiting to make his first shot for the night. Now 0 of 4. Well, he's just really struggling right now with everything he's throwing up. Nothing really helping out in terms of his confidence. I mean, these ones aren't even close. Knocked away. And it's out of bounds to the Spurs as San Antonio retains possession. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Harry Nance has checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Haji Marshall comes in for Zion Williamson. Hawkins checked in for Trey Murphy. And it's Jose Alvarado in for Jones. Down to five on the shot clock. Fires away from outside. And it's Wesley missing. The Pelicans shooting to start out this game about 43%. McCollum finds Nance. And the jam by Larry Nance. Well, if you go to Lehigh, of course, you're going to make smart plays. McCollum good at sensing when his man was going to be wide open. Now here's Jones. He's defended by Alvarado. Cowan setting the pick for Johnson. And he banks in the lane. And that solid foundation of Keldon Johnson going to work as he fought for position there. Pass to Hawkins. Back to McCollum. Kicks it out to Hawkins. Nams a screen. A three ball. The shot by Hawkins, no good. Spurs have gone 50% from the field in the first quarter, 8 of 16. And Jones has it in the corner. Passes to Johnson. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. McCollum outside. There's 154 left in the first quarter. The pass to Hawkins. 
Man's a screen on Jones. Here's Hawkins. Buries it from three-point range. And the Pelicans lead by three. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now, here's Johnson. He's been a factor in their offense on most nights with his scoring average at nearly 16 points a game. And they pick up two. Jones has got seven points in the game. And so McCollum will bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. This Pelican front office has done a great job, Brent, finding some diamonds in the rough, players that have now helped. Think about it, Kevin. They grabbed Jose Alvarado and Najee Marshall, both undrafted players. And those guys are key rotation pieces to change the tempo of any game. Herb Jones, a great steal in the second round, defensively comes in, creates havoc. I mean, a lot of really impressive finds for this front office. Now, Collins following the three-point attempt by C.J. McCollum. It's up a three, and that one's good. Osman. Osman's got his second basket. An emerging part of his game. Johnson's becoming a better playmaker. Nance passes to Hawkins. Trying to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Shot and game clock separated by five. Wesley against Hawkins. Drives from 10. And the Spurs scoring again. There's 14 seconds left in the first. Wesley against McCullough. And the layup's good off the glass. CJ has always had that uncanny ability to just land on his feet, kind of like a cat. He absorbs that contact and completes the play. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. It's the Spurs up to New Orleans back in a moment. Getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Spurs. So far, they've moved the ball well, leading to open, high-percentage looks. Lots of assists in this one. Well, whether the defense is inviting these shots or not, they've been great in the mid-range. And so, producing from there, that bodes well. They've got Jose Alvarado. Zion Williamson is out there with Nance. Then there's Hawkins. And it's Marshall in at the small forward. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. And now a look at Victor Wimbanyama here. Over the last month, he has been spectacular. And he's an elite glass eater, a factor inside among the top ten in rebounds per game. He has been a human highlight reel all season long. Clearly the best shot blocker in the game right now. And he has the numbers to back it up to the inside Collins and finish off by Collins pretty nice show of athleticism as Zach Collins rises up Nance outside he kicks it to Marshall lets it go from deep a shot's good on the assist by Nance Marshall's got himself going there his first points of the game on the deep ball Wesley the pass to Johnson Rem Benyama sets a screen for Johnson. Here's Collins, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. You know, Collins with a good read there and laser focused on where he could get to to collect the offensive board. Williamson left side to the paint. New Orleans moving it around. Alvarado finds Nance. Here's Williamson from the arc, and another three for New Orleans. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. 
Wesley with the ball. Johnson outside. Moves back up. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. It's just so much activity from John Collins as a stretch five at times, hard to track around the floor. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And that one falls for Collins. And often players want to discuss calls with the officials, but Greg, what was your approach with those conversations with referees? <laughs> Kevin, well, it, it depended on the conversation, but at the end of the day, you realize they've got a job to do just like you do, and you try to keep it as respectful as possible and yet still be able to get your point across. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. Zion Williamson is, of course, unique athletically. His teammate C.J. McCollum says, I don't know if we'll ever see somebody with that strength, power, speed, and jumping ability. At times, the Pelicans' offensive game plan becomes simple, McCollum said. Get the ball to Z and get the heck out of the way. Kevin, I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> I picked up on that, David. Thank you. <laughs> and once the team to beat in the West, Greg San Antonio is trying to get back to that level. Well, they have a great organization, top to bottom. They're smart and battle-tested. I believe these guys will find a way. What's up? And that drops, so they now lead by one. We talk a lot about guys and the obstacles that they overcome. Williamson has faced many setbacks, but still staying committed to the game. Johnson the screen. Here's Wesley. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Rabbit's foot in the shoe that time. Got lucky because the pick has to be better. Made no impact, but they still got the score. The Spurs have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. There's Williamson with the three. San Antonio with the rebound. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. You got to give them an A for effort. Just fell a little bit short in that one. Well, it would have been really nice to get that win on the road, but no team ever happy with the loss. They put up a good fight. They had nothing to hang their heads on after that one. Cans it from short range. Williamson's got it all tied up now for the Pelicans. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Rem Benyama, a screen. Wesley, the pass to Johnson. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Johnson's got five points so far. Assertive three-point shot by Johnson. He's working towards being an efficient long-range score. Back to Alvarado. Pass to Hawkins. Six on the shot clock. This one for three. Rebound San Antonio. Rem Benyama's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Pass to Champagny. And Benyama outside. Pass to Champagny. Off target with his three. Pelicans trail by three. Williamson in the post. Covered by Wesley. And the basket by Alvarado. 
that's a nice addition to Zion's game. The passing ability makes him more of a complete player. And now the first time out called here for the Spurs. Zion Williamson with a strong contribution so far, guys, in this one. Well, I hope this one is not to draw up a play, but to think about how they're going to defend that man. He's putting up some major numbers. Valanciunas comes in for Nance. And it's Herbert Jones in for Hawkins. And San Antonio with the change here, too. Osman's checked in. Here's Branham. A 24 point outing in their last game against Denver. Not loose. Lock at six. Johnson outside. Over Marshall. Johnson can't hit. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. It's deflected. Here's Osman, defended by Jones. To the wing right side. Rembenyama against Valanciunas. Rembenyama, no good. New Orleans has got the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. And the pass to Williamson. Kicks it out to Jones. Good, and the assist goes to Williamson. Jones has got himself on the board with three there. Love the assertive attitude from Jones, wanting to continue to improve in his jump shooting. A second-round pick in 2021, Brent Herb Jones immediately made an impact on the defensive end. Now you wonder if being on the all-defensive team, or at least getting votes as a rookie, has changed Herb Jones' mentality about wanting to get Defensive Player of the Year. I know that sounds silly, but he's got the capability and versatility to be that much of an impact on the defensive end. Kept alive, pass to Alvarado. Kicks it to Marshall. Pass to Valanciunas from past the arc. Rebound San Antonio. Here's Osman. Five points in the game. Johnson outside. This is it to Wembenyama. They need this one. Rebounded by Valanciunas. New Orleans leading by three. Alvarado finds Williamson. Makes it off the glass. Williamson has got 10 points now just in this quarter. And that's the progression of Zion shooting with treble around. No problem. Here's Branham. He's defended by Alvarado. And that one's good. Champagne. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Got that bucket. And Zion absolutely on fire right now. The D looks helpless. Branham, the pass to Johnson. Len Benyama with it. Guarded now by Marshall. And it's good from Wembenyama on the assist by Johnson. And it's eight points for Victor Wembenyama. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Trey Murphy's checked in for New Orleans. McCollum comes in for Jose Alvarado. Zach Collins checked in for the Spurs. Trey Jones comes in for Johnson. McCollum outside. Now the pass to Valanciunas. Down low. And a fast break now for the Spurs. Here's Osman. And he bangs it home with one hand. 
got to take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right. And that severe punishment right there. And how about the sequence in its entirety? Momentum swing, and you love the effort here. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Outside Collins. The dish to Jones. Back to Collins. Spurs passing it around. Four on the clock. Osmond. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. This tug-of-war game continues. And guys, that's lucky number seven already in this game. The column against Jones. And just so good off the bounce. C.J. McCollum is as frustrating to cover as anyone. Yeah, but it's also, Greg, one of the players in the league that we appreciate the most because of the footwork, because of the fundamentals, maybe a little bit undersized. He finds ways to get it done with efficiency and effectiveness. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. And C.J. McCollum just relied upon for the incredible leadership qualities he possesses. And that kind of respect comes right away when C.J. steps into the locker room. Hawkins checked in for the Pelicans. He's off on the second. Listen, there's no doubt he feels like they should have the lead, but that miss will keep it all tied up. Collins kicks to Osman. Jones against McCollum. Jones the pass to Osman. No good from outside. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. McCollum outside. Alan Junis against Collins. Now Valen Junis. 11 points for him in that last game against Orlando. McCollum against Jones. There's a screen by Collins. Jones drives in. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. That's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And they have really leaned on his free throw shooting at times this season. He's been there for them, too, with 88% from the line. Rem Benyama. He's checked in for Zach Collins. They're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Pelicans trail by three. Alan Judas with a screen on Jones. And there's the call on Jetty Osman. That'll be his second foul of the game. This is one where the second foul is probably going to cost you some minutes in this game. McCollum in the corner. Six to shoot. Jones kicks to Hawkins. Sinks the triple. Hawkins has got the game tied up here for the Pelicans. Great pass there from Herbert Jones. When someone's open, he'll find them. Here's Branham. He's covered by Hawkins. Pass to Champagne. In the corner, it's Ren Benyama. For Valanciunas, Rem Benyama gets the bucket. Rem Benyama has got four points now in the quarter. Showing he's more than just an interior threat. Rem Benyama also possesses that reliable jump shot. Valanciunas with a screen on Jones. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. San Antonio's gone for the three-pointer seven times here in the second and been successful three times. 
133 left in the first half. That's good from Wembenyama on the assist by Jones. Jones has got his third assist on the night. And here's Hawkins. Six points for him. The three-pointer no good. They're close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Jones, no luck. Pelicans trail by four. 102 left in the first half. Valanciunas sets a screen for McCollum over Jones. Valanciunas. McCollum with a great job using the screen, deadly either shooting or passing. Just a great job of reading things and action off the pick. Jones looking for an opening. It's rebounded by New Orleans. McCollum's got his fourth rebound in this one. There's 31 seconds left to play here in the half. Outside, Jones. Alan Junis, that's a screen for Jones. Connects from three-point range. Jones has got six in the quarter. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Jones up top. He's guarded by McCollum. Outside, Jones. Pass to Wembenyama. Not going to go that time. And he gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to up the easy deuce there. And so, guys, it's Zion Williamson making things happen for New Orleans. A grand total of 28 points for him in the game now. They have no answer for him defensively. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much here with Greg Popovich. Pop in a close game. What makes the difference in the second half? Lots of things, you know. It's a game of mistakes. It's a game of playing well. Who knows? Always love your philosophy, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. Welcome, everyone. Is there anyone in this league more fun to watch than Zion? He's been on a tear tonight. He's wrecking those boys in the lane. They look worn out and defeated. That's how I used to do it. Yeah, I knew somehow he was going to bring this back to you, but I don't disagree. And changing gears now, looks like we've got some great interactions on social media. All right, here's one from Earthquake Blake. If you guys had a movie made about you, who would play you in? Who would, be, who would play you, Jack? Let me think about that for a second. Bowl, bowl. <laughs> bowl, bowl is the opposite of you. No, he's seven, he's tall and he's skinny. No, you ain't tall and skinny. Uh, I'm skinny now. Okay. I wasn't yeah, skinny okay. last week. Okay. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. We've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You look at Zion Williamson, guys. In this game, he has been everywhere. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. On the court for San Antonio, they've got Victor Wembenyama. And it's Branham in at the two guard. Williamson double team. Kicks it out to McCollum. Traps in the tray. McCollum's got eight points. Well, the arc just doesn't stop there at the top of the key. It's all open for McCollum, man. The corner's another place where he can be devastating. Jones, the pass to Champagny. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. The Spurs have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. Champagne, two shots. Take a break, take a break. 
He's off on the first. And he's good on the second. Pelicans leading by three. Now here's Williamson. McCollum outside. Just five to shoot. It's tipped. And now here comes Jones leading the break. Jones against Jones. McCollum with the ball. Eight points for him. Passes to Williamson. Out to the right wing. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Three on the clock. The rebound by Victor Rembenyama. Rembenyama has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And that one, good. Osmond's got 12. It's exactly the shot they're looking for. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrich. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Victor Wembenyama has studied all the greats, and one in particular, Kobe Bryant. He says, I know all his stats and records, but mostly I admired his state of mind and his philosophy and his approach to the game. When I suffer, when I have a doubt, I wonder what Kobe would have done. And I know he would have done more, so I'm going back to it. Kevin? Thanks, David. And there's a whistle that goes on Herbert Jones. That is his first foul of the game. Personal foul. Second team foul. To the wing on the left. Here's Osman. 12 points for him. That ties it up. He's got 15. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Jones against McCollum. Shot clock at six. Valanciunas sets a screen for McCollum. Unloads from nine. And the rejection by Rembenyama. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. San Antonio's gone 7-15 from three-point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. Man, you look at the hype surrounding Wembenyama. Greg, it's unreal. One of the best prospect profiles really since LeBron. Almost unfair to try and live up to the expectations. But he's got the tools to be one of the best to ever play. In for his seventh make in 14 tries. Well, the talk at halftime must have been a good one right now. Three straight buckets to start the quarter. Williamson right side. Stripped away. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Here's Wembenyama. And a monster game for Wemby with the matchup issues he creates. I'm not sure anyone in this league can stop him when he's on. Williamson outside. That one falls. Williamson's got 30 points. And you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Jones, the pass to Branham. Wembenyama, a screen on Jones. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for San Antonio? Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. Man, scoring off a turnover is 
is so helpful. I mean, you get easy opportunities at the rim. It devastates the opponent. They've done a great job tonight at converting on those chances. And so it's McCollum. He'll bring it up for New Orleans. Trailing by five. Stolen. Here's Osman. 15 points in the game. The pass to Champagny. Pass to Wembenyama. Off target from three-point range. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. That's a bad miscue, and you can't give up looks like that all game long. Tipped away. Jones against Jones. Pass to Champagny. Shot clock at five. Wembenyama, a screen. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Pelicans trail by five. Passes it to Williamson. Valanciunas with a screen on Wembenyama. Williamson, the pass to Valanciunas. And the rejection by Wembenyama. Kicks to Jones. Here's Champagny. He's got seven. Here's the pass to Wembenyama. Tries again. Rebounded by Valanciunas. For New Orleans, they've gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Williamson outside. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Well, every team goes into the draft looking for finishers like these. Here are the most efficient scorers among this year's rookie class. Victor Wembenyama, third. He's scoring and finishing at a very high level. I mean, playing within himself offensively and being very discerning with his shot selection. And he can't get the first one. New Orleans making a switch here. Marshall's checked in. And he sinks the second. Here's San Antonio now. They're on a 13-5 run here. Jones, the pass to Branham. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Three points. Jones has got assist number five here tonight. And not where he earns his money, that three-point shot. But he's a good shooter from that range if he's got space. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Jones, over the last 10 games or so, he's really shown up. He's averaging 10 points a game, 7 assists, and 5 rebounds. And he's done his share of the work for the team, definitely making an impact. Well, the numbers, if you look at them, impressive all the way around, and he's not letting the team down. McCollum against Jones. Williamson outside. And it's McCollum in the corner. Just four to shoot. Jones for three. Trains the three-pointer. Jones has got nine. 
Continuing to hone this part of his game. I like seeing Jones hit from deep. Here's Branham, defended by Jones. Outside, Jones. Driving in over McCollum on the basket by Jones. 12 points for him. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Jones, the pass to McCollum. Back to Jones. Alan Tunis against Wembenyama. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And look who's in the middle of all of that action. Of course, it's Valanchunas getting fouled and still getting that shot off. This is his first free throw of the game. And on the season, he's just a shade under 80 from the line. I'll bet he'd like to get that up over that mark. And that one misses. And Valanchunas, a seasoned veteran now that you basically can count on as a double-double guy, even in limited minutes. He really does a great job of patrolling the paint. Good on the second free throw. San Antonio leading by five. Outside, Jones. Here's Osman, covered by Williamson. Rembenyama, a screen on Williamson. Rembenyama gets the bucket. Rembenyama's got the lead up to seven now for the Spurs. New Orleans gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Now here's Williamson. He's tightly guarded. Now Valanchunas, five points in the game, five to shoot. And Williamson gets it to go. Williamson's got 33 points. Well, the rest of the team has looked pretty bad tonight, but he's done a fantastic job of scoring the ball and carrying the load on offense. Jones with it, now defended by Williamson. And Benyama gets the bucket. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. And here's McCullough. He's got eight. Alan Junis trying to free himself up. And the shot is good. The Spurs lead has been cut down now to just five on the bucket from McCullough. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Spurs. San Antonio calls timeout. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Looking who's out there now for the Pelicans. Lance comes in for Valanchunas. And Hawkins subbed in for Zion Williamson. Collins checked in for San Antonio. Johnson comes in for Jetty Osman. here by New Orleans. Jones with it. Nance sets a screen for Jones. 11 feet away. The rebound by Champagny. Spurs leading by five. On the wing, Jones. Collins a screen on McCollum. Jones with the bounce pass. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. Look now at some numbers for Jones. His last 10 games, seventh in steals, and tremendous confidence and consistency at the foul line. He ranks among the top 15 in free throw percentage. And talk about being top 10 in steals. I love his jumping the passing lanes and then stealing away your dribble. First free throw is good. Zach Collins is aggressive and confident 
and waiting for his opportunity to show just how consistently good he can be in the NBA. Jose Alvarado, he's checked in for Jones. And so he makes both from the line. Here's McCollum. Ten points for him. Pass to Marshall. To the left wing. To the middle. And the shot is good. The Spurs lead has been cut down now to just five on the basket from Hawkins. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. And you love the energy of Jose Alvarado. He just brings it on the floor. A clear fan favorite. Now, such a unique style of basketball, the way he goes about his business. And if a coach is smart, you're not trying to change it one bit. Jose brings all of that and mixes it up every single night. And Nance is just such a cerebral player out there, does a good job of trying to be a threat with the assist. Outside, Jones. A three. Aaron Ange comes up with the rebound. Pelicans trail by five. McCollum outside. Inside. Here's Nance. Rebounded by the Spurs. Outside, Jones. Dishes it to Johnson. Pocket six. That shot misses. The Pelicans have gone eight of 14 on their shot attempts here in the third. Some pretty nice work. Hawkins kicks to McCollum. McCollum with the screen on Jones. Here's Alvarado up and in on the way. And now just a three-point San Antonio lead. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Outside Collins. Johnson inside. He's covered by Hawkins. Out of bounds, New Orleans will take possession. Victor Wembenyama is checked in for San Antonio. Devontae Graham comes in for Trey Jones. New Orleans has gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Pass to Marshall. Back to McCollum. He kicks it to Marshall. He in the corner and ends with it. Six on the shot clock. McCollum against Graham. McCollum no good. San Antonio leading by three. Wesley with the ball. He's got five. The pass to Wembenyama. Over Marshall. Wembenyama gets the bucket. Wembenyama's got ten points here in the second half. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time. Nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And so it's Victor Wembenyama making things happen for the San Antonio Spurs. And of everything he's doing well, it's his scoring that you point to first. Already 22 points in this game. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Even though the position is called shooting guard, passing part of your responsibilities in today's game. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Williamson out there with Larry Nance. Then there's Hawkins. 
Then it's Jose Alvarado. And it's Marshall in at the three slots. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. And this kid is tough. Wimbenyama just powering it in despite the contact. One shot. One shot. Generational talent for Wembenyama, the sky is the limit and the reality. Williamson, the pass to Marshall. Now, El Parado from outside off the mark. Johnson outside. Second chance shot, and he sinks the layup. Arlo's got his first bucket in this one. Second chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis, and that was some serious effort there. Williamson, and the dunk by Williamson. So awesome to see Zion healthy and showing off that elite athleticism. Graham kicks to West. They swipe it. Williamson outside. New Orleans moving it around. Oh! Play. Yeah, looks like Zion's got the stage all to himself there, just tearing down the rim. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. San Antonio leading by six. Fourth quarter now, we're about a minute and a half in. Pass to Barlow. Pocket six. Ben Benyama sets a screen for Johnson. Hits the three-point bomb. And the Spurs lead by nine. And, and won't find many more games as entertaining as this one. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Bring him against Hawkins. Pass to Marshall. From outside the arc. Graham with the rebound. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Passes it to Barlow. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And yeah, maybe a little underrated as Devontae can make these kind of plays. You know, he finished in the top 10 and assists in one of the seasons that he's played. Herbert Jones, he's checked in for New Orleans. And San Antonio also making a switch. Osman's checked in. Misses. And here's Marshall to bring it up for New Orleans. 11 point game. And the basket by Alvarado. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Now here's Graham. He's defended by Alvarado. They get it again. And Benyama gets the bucket. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Williamson against Wembenyama. Shot is good, and the Spurs lead is cut down to eight. Again, the point's coming from Williamson. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're big or small. You do not want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Zion on the inside. Now the pass to Osman. Here's Barlow. There's the triple. Zion Williamson grabs the miss. Pass to Alvarado. Williamson, the screen. Alvarado with it. Out guarded by Wembenyama. And the incredible reach of Wembenyama, helping him knock away that one. Here's Williamson. 
And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Williamson. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. The Spurs making a switch here. Collins is checked in. So it's the Spurs now. They've led by as many as 11 points. Graham, the pass to Osman. Collins wide open. He fires. A three-pointer is right on target. Three points. Collins has got the lead up to 11 now for San Antonio. Pass to Marshall. Jones with the screen on Wembenyama. A three. Marshall. Rebounded by the Spurs. Osman's got five rebounds tonight. Kicks it to Graham. Fires for three. Cans it from downtown. Graham's got his first three points of the game. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooter. Williamson in the post. Working on Collins. Now here's Graham. Down low. Kicks it out to Johnson. Takes the three. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Jones finds Williamson. Now, here's Marshall. Passes it to Alvarado. Shot clock at six. To the paint. Here's Hawkins. No good again that time. That's how to protect the rim without fouling. Force him into an awkward release and a bit of an adjustment on the layup. Collins against Williamson. Collins dishes to Graham. And there's the pass to Wembenyama. Alvarado with the steal. Pass to Williamson. Ball's knocked loose and taken away by Johnson. Three on three. Pass to Graham. Back to Johnson. Three-pointer. Rebound by Marshall. Marshall's got four rebounds now tonight. Alvarado passes to Jones. And here's Hawkins. Releases. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. San Antonio calls timeout. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Some changes for New Orleans. Jonas Valanciunas, who's checked in for Najee Marshall. Trey Murphy comes in for Hawkins. And McCollum subbed in for Jose Alvarado. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to Greg Popovich talk to his team. He told them, don't look at the scoreboard. We have to play like we're tied. They want their team to sustain that level of effort, and we'll see how it works out. Kevin? Thank you, David. Outside, Jones, Rembenyama. Rembenyama is a specimen going at the rim there with a purpose. McCollum outside. Alan Junis sets a screen for McCollum. And that one drops. Spurs leading by 15. Jones, the pass to Wembenyama. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Assisted. Jones has got his eighth assist in the game. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. McCollum against Jones. And there's the foul. It's on Trey Jones. That's foul number two for him. First team foul. Oh. 
fires from deep. Valanciunas, the putback is no good. San Antonio's gone 4-6 from beyond the arc in the fourth quarter so far. Champagny passes to Wembenyama. Count it. Wembenyama's got 33 points. And standing easily over seven feet. When Wemby gets that ball near the hoop, literally nothing a defender can do. McCollum against Jones. McCollum dishes to Valanciunas. Good defense by Wembenyama. Spurs leading by 19 points. Outside, Jones. Wembenyama sets a screen for Jones. Pass to Champagny. Just five on the clock. Over to the wing. Here's Osman. Hits it from three-point range. Oh, how about the vision by Wimbenyama there? Always looking to get teammates involved. To the inside, Williamson. And Williamson throws it down. The leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding and rising up off the ground. Jones kicks to Osmond. Over Williamson. Another shot. And that one's good. Osmond. Osmond's got five points in the quarter. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Jones against McCollum. And the pass to Valanciunas. He dishes it to Williamson. Banked in off the glass. Williams, he's got 43 points. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. And Benyama outside. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Here we are looking around the NBA, Greg. It feels like there's more parity amongst teams than ever before. No dominant team has been the favorite every year. And that can all change, though, in a heartbeat. Every so often, a dynasty can be born out of nothing. And so McCollum will bring it up for New Orleans. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Well, they've been turning that ball over way too much, and they really need to address this if they want to win this game. I love boys. And now, a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Victor Wembenyama. Hey, guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. It's just too bad they're on the outside of the playoff picture looking in. It would have been nice for him to have a chance to perform like this in the postseason. Rembenyama sets a screen for Jones. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. At the line for the Spurs, Trey Jones, shooting one. One shot. Hey, Brent, coming out of this last CBA, were you surprised how quickly the push for a hard salary cap was abandoned? Yeah, I wonder, Kevin, if some of it was just the timing of the CBA and not having to go down into the trenches to talk about that level of what's happening financially around the NBA. Also, the small market teams were super opposed to having that be put in place because at times they want a chance to go all in as well. As to Osman. Back to Jones. Nice ball boomer by San Antonio. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Here's Osman. Six to shoot. Ben Benyama. Ice screen on McCollum. Jones for three. Pelicans with the rebound. 
Valanciunas is Pelicans trail by 21. It's Jones on the wing. McCollum finds Jones. Now here's Valanciunas, defended by Wembenyama. McCollum against Jones with the shot. A rebound by the Spurs. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Spurs. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And so they'll stretch their victory total to 19 on the season. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and look at the stats. Just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Victor Wembenyama. I just loved his defense. He took pride in swatting away a bunch of shots tonight and made his impact felt. To the left side wing. Jones against McCollum. After Champagne. And the three ball is good. But the truth is they've had control of this game. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight getting out on the road playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And the basket by McCollum. At this point, they're just trying to get back and see. You want to play a good brand of basketball. Consistency definitely is a, a key to some of the playoff performing teams. And tonight, they just did not find it in this contest. And so it's San Antonio easily taking this one. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And that'll do it, folks. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Olk, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. And now... We present the New Balance Player of the Game, Victor Wembenyama.